All right, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Today was a little bit of a spontaneous video because I just watched Hannah's ranking of like all this year book series I've ever read and it got me so like mad and frustrated because I was like, no, that's wrong to think like that. Obviously, there's, there's no wrong way to think, but I've been watching Daniel Green do these tier, tier rankings for a long time. So I love watching these, it's like one of my favorite things ever because you can just, yeah, it's really fun. So what I decided to do is I'll like rank all the series that I have using tier and <laughs> I rank them at like the normal tier ranking plus I added like an E for just like the really bad stuff because I need an extra, extra tier for myself. So we have 60 series because I read 60 series and these are not like all, all the books in a series. I think Hannah, she included like also books she only read one of in a series and I think this is kind of like wrong because because you haven't read like enough books in a series to know. So also I at first I thought I was only gonna do like all the series that I finished but then I thought though that's not that many books so I decided to do all the series that I've ever read more than two books in. I think that's pretty fair but I will mention that as we go along. All right let's get started. So the first book we have is Abandoned by Meg Cabot. So this I read a really long time ago. I have finished the whole trilogy but it's hard to consider like when I read it then when I read it now but I think even when I read it then I didn't like love the series. I think I just like read it kind of mm. I'll put it in a D tier for now but I definitely would feel like differently if I read it now you know. So The Hunger Games um I really loved The Hunger Games when it was out so I don't know. Should we do B tier? I feel like that's appropriate. Asylum. Oh, um, I feel like that's also a D tier because Asylum was like the series. I only finished two books in the series. I actually have a review for the first one. Uh, it's a bit funny. I never finished it and I thought it was kind of like mediocre. Then Daughter of Smoke and Bone is actually a good series. I'll put that on B tier because well, I think it's like the same level as Hunger Games. It's a really good series. It's definitely not like Lainey Taylor's best work, so you'll see what's coming. But I really enjoyed it. Also, Death Note. I think Death Note is C tier, which might surprise like some of you because Death Note is like has some really good moments, but it also is like really it was like a lot of books that were just like a waste of my time, kind of. So yeah, C tier. Oh my god. Then we have this book series, um, The Accident of a Werewolf. So this, these books are not actually good in any way. And I started reading the, I think I read three of like 14 books or something. There's a lot of books in the series. And I just like, I DNF'd it after 10 pages because like, nope. Uh, because the dialogue is super like argumentative. It's super childish, but they're all really adults. Um, they have hilarious sex scenes, which is I think the only reason I read it, but I think I'm gonna put it E tier Even though it's not like I don't hate the book, but it's really not a good, good book series So E tier, sorry about it Then we have Saga. Saga is um, uh, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Saga. Saga is like uh, a great... Are you eating my carpet? Don't eat my carpet No, no uh, okay, Saga, I will put Saga um, on S tier just for now, like the artwork is amazing. I think the story is great, but it's not like, it's not like it would, t like it's like my favorite 10 books, or I mean it's a comic, but uh, of all time. Then we have A Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh man, if I read this book now, I think I would despise it, like I think I would hate this book now but I read it like maybe two three years ago so I don't know it's like a D tier also because the Court of Frost and Starlight the novella came out afterwards and that was so bad and that I kind of read like later so I don't know that was a hard one yeah I'll put a D tier I feel like you know when you see the books together on the different tiers like it makes sense in your mind rather than just like naming the letter all right, then we have um, The Raven Boys. I will mention if I haven't like finished the series, obviously. The Raven Boys. So I didn't love the series as much as other series, but I also didn't hate it. It was just like 
not my thing, even though I really like magical realism and then speculative stuff, this was just... It, it wasn't too weird for me because I like weird stuff. It wasn't that engaged, I think. I'll give it C tier. Okay, then we have Blood Song. I've only read the first two books in the Blood Song uh, trilogy. Uh, that Queen of Fire is the last one, and I still haven't read it, but I'm planning to read it next month. And after we finish that series and another series, I'll be doing another fantasy recommendations video, which is going to be really fun. So I'm excited for that. There's just, just a little extra info for you guys. Blood Song, I actually think, goes to... Hmm. It was a hard one. It's either C tier or... I'm going to say it's... That's a really hard one since I haven't finished it. I think the last book can like really, really make it or break that series. I'm gonna put it C tier for now because the second book like kind of brought the story down for me. Then we have Vicious. This is a duology. First one I actually really enjoyed. The second one, not so much. Not so much. This is a complicated relationship. I'll put that in C tier too. I think a lot of books like fall in the middle of the line for me at least, yeah. Also, I just wanted to mention that, like, don't look at the ratings that I had on Goodreads for some of these, because sometimes I give them different ratings, like, years later or months later um, than I do, like, in the moment. So these ratings are my official opinion right now, rather than, like, what you see on Goodreads, if that's something you want to know. The next one, Trader's Blade. Okay, so this series, not many people love it so much. It is like a fantasy series and I've read three out of four books. I'm so excited for the last one. So the first one, Trader's Blade, would probably be somewhere on B tier, um, maybe even C tier. But the series as a whole is an S tier. I love this series. I love it. It's so good. It's so deep and meaningful and I don't give a shit about the plot holes. I don't give a crap about the plot holes because it's so good. It's so well written and I've never read such deep emotions and friendships in books before. All right, Truth Witch. This is not a bad series either. I recently watched Connor O'Brien, it's his name, Connor O'Brien, and he, he read Blood Song, which is the third book in the last book so far released in the series, but the series isn't finished, and he actually really liked the last book, and I felt really disconnected because I hadn't, like, caught up with, with what was happening because it was such a long time since I read the previous books, which was really unfortunate. But the way he talked about them made me want to continue reading the series. So I'll probably continue with the series, but it's not that good. It's not that good. But it's not D tier. I feel like that's bad. I'm gonna have to change this later. I feel like I, I need extra tier. I'll put it D tier for now. Then we have the Red Queen series. This series was just generally like a waste of my time. The The series isn't actually bad in itself. Like there's nothing wrong with the series, the, but it's completely unoriginal in my opinion. It's one of those YA series that all the books basically, they're the same. If you read one book, you've read them all. I read three or four books. I can't even imagine how I made it through, <laughs> through the last book. But I'm actually gonna give it E tier just because I feel like it has no originality. And now that I'm looking at this, I probably should put Abandon down. Should I put Asylum down too? No, I don't know. I actually kind of like Asylum. It was, uh, or like, D tier like. <laughs> okay, The Long Way to Small Anger Planet. This book, or this book series, they're all companion novels really, is a really impactful sci-fi because it's all about the characters in space rather than like the plot. And I really like that, okay, but, but it's definitely not S tier because I didn't love it that much. I'll put it at B tier. I'm thinking now when I'm looking at this, I don't know about you guys, that if I need an extra tier, why don't I just move everything up one step? Because A tier has nothing. Does that make sense? Maybe I'll do that. Okay, here comes um, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Now, I've only read 4 of 14 books, so my opinions can completely change. Do you hear that? But actually, I'm starting to really love the series, so I'm gonna put this um, actually in A tier. I know I haven't expressed that much love for it. In my opinion, the first book is really not that good, but they really do pick up. So, the next one. This is Flame in the Mist. This is a duology. Uh, the first book, I think I gave three stars to, and I have a book review for that. And the second book, I might have even given one star to, so I'm gonna put this in E tier. 
I'm really starting to doubt my decisions. I feel like this is important. Why is this important? Uh, all right, darkest shade of magic. I'll put a tier. So this is actually one of the YA series that I have in my mind kind of rated higher because like even though it was a long time ago or since I read it because I just have like I just remember being really captivated by the whole plot and like wanting to continue reading and I think this feeling like this de desperate feelings of like the desire to not be able to stop reading like that sticks no matter if you think it's like technically a good book do you know what I mean like that feeling is more important than the good book then we have Reign of Shadows this is a duology um and no, maybe it's more actually maybe it's a trilogy but I've only read the first two books it's like a romance and it's technically really bad but I also kind of enjoy it but it's definitely uh, an e-tier book all right crime and poetry this is also like not a bad series I've read two of maybe three books in the series it's all about like a mystery literature kind of a magical realism it has like a really cool concept but it's just not executed well which is really sad because I really wanted to have like a magical bookstore book crime novel that would have been awesome I'll put it in D tier for now oh not my it's almost a staircase do you see that it's almost a staircase cool then we have the name of the wind by Patrick Rothfuss I'm gonna put that in S tier and the staircase is officially ruined because I have like a deep love for Name of the Wind because it was the first book that introduced me to like epic fantasy like in a very adaptable and fun way and easy to read way and that's why I have like such a deep like love for this series also because my mom read it and I think like we could talk about it which is a really fun experience but this is like a, a book book thing also when people say like uh this is gonna be objective <laughs> nothing is objective when you're rated like this you're a person yeah, that was just a little little comment. I like it, but the last book is coming out in August or September, so that may might put it down, you never know. Then we have Red Sister, which the first book I really liked. The second one I loved, and if the third one is as good, it could be S tier, but for now, I think it's, it's A tier for me. It's not S tier yet, but it, it's really good. It's really good. It's amazing. You should read it. All right, then we have Nevernight. I'm gonna put Nevernight uh, at S tier. It is one of the few like young adult that I enjoyed as an adult because it it is like such a page turner and it's so exciting and it definitely has some problematic areas like the fact that she acts like a man and therefore she's a strong woman. It, it also has a lot of tropes that I don't like, but it's just like a really immersive, fun, addicting uh, fantasy book. Amazing. Then we have Mistborn. Now, some of you are going to hate me. Some of you are going to hate me deeply for this. I'm going to put Mistborn in B tier. If someone like recommends or like asks me for who is the best Brandon Sanderson book, like Mistborn might be my least favorite of the ones I've read. I love Mistborn, but in my opinion, it doesn't nearly reach up to the level as Elantris, Warbreaker, or definitely the Stormlight Archives. Whew, I'm getting like out of breath. This is so fun. I'm having so much fun, you guys. I hope you guys are having fun. Okay, that was a little bit awkward. Then we have Furthermore. Uh, this is actually just a companion novel with two books, but it's like decent. I think I'm going to put it at D tier. It's fun for being like a middle grade, but if you know me, I don't like middle grade. So I, I don't know why I keep reading it. I stopped reading middle grade and I'm slowly making my way out of young adult. And I want to make this really clear. I don't hate young adult, but I've just read so much of it that I need different things. That's all. Speaking of young adult, here we have the Alchemists of Loom series. Now, this series is like wildly underestimated as being a young adult series. No one talks about the series, but it's really good and it has a lot of good like points. It has a lot of good like content and diversity and it's action packed, but it also has like politics. It's really good and has amazing characters. So I'm going to put it at A tier because it's not my favorite fantasy, but it's really good. Then we have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. 
I'm gonna put this at A tier as well just because I didn't love the second book as much as I loved the first one but it's still like a really good series and I'm, I'm in love with this whole like universe that Lainey Taylor has created especially like with his, her other books the daughter of smoking bone series and I really love that then we have matched which is like E tier minus I can't believe I'm like admitting this but I've read the whole match series I don't think anyone has read the whole match series I, I remember even as like a young reader I was pushing myself through it I remember like wanting to quit and like crying about it let's move on um, then we have the lightning thief I really don't like uh, Percy Jackson if you don't know me so I'm sorry everyone who loves Percy Jackson it's E tier I feel now that maybe I should move Red Queen up to a D tier because it's not it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't deserve to be next to matched. <laughs> All right. Then we have Paper Girls. I recently actually finished the series and I know the creators finished the series. There's six volumes. It's about these paper girls who like are trapped in this time war. It has such a cool concept, it's really good, but I unfortunately really like wasn't trapped by the ending. I mean it's a good ending, but I need to like quickly read through the series so that I get like a better understanding of it. And then I think it's actually gonna be S tier after that. Alright, then we have Renegades. This is a solid D tier for me. Uh, the first book I actually gave four stars when I read it, but <laughs> as I read the second one, I was wildly unimpressed and I the third one just came out recently and I don't think I'm gonna pick it up I don't think I'm gonna enjoy it I'm not tired of like finishing series just because I want to finish it like the whole concept of finishing a series I don't like it um, then we have this savage song this is kind of like the same thing I have when I was reading reading this savage song I was trying to look for the magic that I saw in a darker shade of magic <laughs> But I couldn't find it and I also ended up not like liking the second book. It was just very meh for me. Um, so D tier. War Cross. Uh, I actually really loved the first book. I remember it was really fun. But then the second one came, in, came out and by that point I read a lot of sci-fi. So there was like so many plot holes and so many things where I was like, mm, yeah, you didn't really explain that too well. So that's a hard one because the first one I actually really enjoyed but then the other book happened and I think if I read it now I probably wouldn't like it so much. So is it okay to put something in D tier even though I like I didn't I didn't hate it? All right, then we have Monstrous. So Monstrous is a comic um that I'm still it's like very high comic level comic. It's you definitely need to be focused when you're reading it. And no, oh, I just put it in C tier. Let's imagine I didn't put it anywhere yet. And I think, man, this is hard. I mean, I've only read two of the comics, and I think there's four out already. So I think for right now, it's actually C tier. I really hope to get it bumped up higher, but for now, it's C tier. Then we have The Lies of Locke Lamora. This is a, I think it's gonna be a quartet actually, but right now it's a trilogy. <laughs> But damn, Lysa Luck Lamora is good. I think I'm gonna give it S tier just because, wow. All right, then we have Marked, <laughs> the House of Night series. Did any of you guys read that? I'm looking at you, Rebecca. You know who you are. We read this series together and it's so bad. Like, it is so bad. What? <laughs> it's definitely minus E tier, yeah. Then we have the Three Crown series. This is, or the Three Dark Crown series. This is four books that are finished, and the last book I was really not enjoying it. So I'm just happy this series is over, to be honest. But how, um, mm, yeah, it's D tier. Man, I've read a lot of bad books. I need to stop doing this to myself. Yes, then we have The Wrath and the Dawn. This is also a complicated one where I gave the first one actually five stars and the second one was just so bad. Mm, but as a series, it's like I want to put it at C tier just because I kind of liked it. But looking at, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Wrath in the Dawn at D. Then I'm going to put Truth Witch up because I'm looking at it. And Truth Witch is really not that bad, guys. I think 
yeah, it's C tier. Then we have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Now, the first one book in the series, I think it's going to be a trilogy or something, um, but right now it is a... No, only two books have come out. And the second book was so bad. I think I gave it like one star, I swear to God. Um, so I really don't, I'm actually gonna put it at E tier. And let me explain this before you all go cuckoo. I don't think anyone goes cuckoo about this on my channel. You guys are all advanced. Um, and you're thinking, what, what I'm thinking is that the second book actually like lost my disres- like kind of like lost my respect for this, for this like series. I'm definitely not gonna continue on. It just didn't have any redeeming qualities and it made me look at the first book in a different light and ruined it for me. Why'd you do that, Rainbow Rowell? Why? All right, then we have Leviathan Wakes by James S. S. R. Corey, I think. This is, um, this is for me S tier, just because it is such a fun read and I haven't continued. I read four books in this series. I think it's eight books now. Um, probably still continuing, I'm not sure. And I have, here is the fifth book, and I know this has like really high ratings. And I don't understand why I haven't read it yet, because it's been a year since I read the last book, and I love this series. So why? 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 Uh, it's your Shadow and Bone. This is the first Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. Mmm. 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 This is D tier. I did read this whole series like right after each other and I think that made me enjoy it more because you know when you're like really immersed in the world it like it's better and you read it quicker but it's really not good. I also didn't include Six of Crows because I've technically only read the first Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom I DNF'd like halfway through because I really didn't like it so I didn't include it but that would be like even lower like E tier maybe. Oh my god. Then I included The Shining because Shining is technically a duology and I read both of them. I didn't hate The Shining. It's C tier for me. I'm not a big like fan of that kind of writing and I was definitely scared. Scared. I was scared. I was scared while reading this. I was definitely like a little bit quaking when I was reading while I was reading this. And I think it's like really well written, even though I didn't enjoy it that much. Then we have Cinder. This is like a young adult sci-fi, and I think it's like one of the first sci-fi I probably read. I actually kind of liked this series. I thought it was really good. I liked the concept. The, I mean, is it B tier? I think actually it's B tier. Like, I, I understand that now I probably would have definitely put it um, C or lower, but considering that, like, my feelings back then, I really liked it, and I think I'm gonna, I, I wanna keep that feeling, you know? I'm not gonna ruin something for me just because I, I changed my opinion. Also, I haven't read it now, so I don't know. But I thought that was pretty good. I really liked it. That was, um, B tier. Then we have The Ember in the Ashes is also, Ember in the Ashes. I'm gonna put Ember in the Ashes Ooh, that's a hard one. Actually, I'm gonna put Ember in the Ashes at C tier. I have kind of the same relationship that I have uh, as for as for Truth Witch because I really liked the first two books and then the third one, I kind of ruined it for me. So it still isn't a finished series and same as Truth Witch, but I'm gonna put those like together because I think my, my opinions and feelings are kind of the same. And then I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the books and I think I'm gonna actually go and put Mistborn one step up because I think it's better than Cinder and the other books that are kind of next to it. So that's what I'm thinking. That's my, my thought process. Then we have Skyward. This is so far only two books released. I recently finished the second book. It's like a young adult sci-fi and um, this is this is impressive to me because I, I think what Brad and Sanderson is doing here is fantastic and I really enjoyed it. It's such a fun series, but I can see its flaws, you know what I mean? So I don't want to put it at S here because of that, but I think it's better than Mistborn. It's different than Mistborn. It's hard to compare those two, but um, is it better than Mistborn? I think it's like the same. I'll put it A tier. Then we have 
The Vampire Diaries. Do you guys all remember that? Do you remember it happened? I have a video up if you want to watch um, me talking about all the vampire and supernatural books I read when I was a when I was a baby in the womb. Um, the Vampire Diaries. I read four of the books, but like uh, two volumes because it was kind of combined. So bad. E tier. This is just like a genuinely all the other you know, vampire books that I read were bad, but this one was actually bad. Like this one is, I'm not even joking, this one is bad. Don't read it. Then we have Harry, Harry Potter. Um, now I kind of got mad when I was watching Hannah's video, this is like the gossip. Uh, it's not really gossip, stop Wilma. I got kind of mad watching her video because she said that JK Rowling has ruined what Harry Potter was and I think this is like almost impossible to do because in my mind it's impossible to do because she hasn't changed the original content like the original contents the same so why is it different you know maybe I'm wrong so what is Harry Potter I mean Harry Potter I listen to Harry Potter every single day every single day no matter what my whole entire life I listen to Harry Potter audiobooks so um I love Harry Potter. I think it's beautiful. Is it heteronormative and has some problems? Definitely. But since I am not an objective person, and this is a completely 100% subjective list, it's S tier. Then we have Heartstopper. This is E tier for me. I'm not going to read the third volume. It's like a comic book about these two boys that fall in love. And there's nothing wrong with the story and nothing wrong with it's written. It's just like wildly underwhelming in my opinion because there's just way too little of everything. Like it's just the effort in it. It's not worth it, uh, especially for the money. So Twilight. I didn't hate Twilight. I really loved Twilight. Actually, I was I was I was one of those people. Um, I'm gonna put it. This is this is controversial, guys. Because I genuinely loved Twilight when I read it, and I haven't read it since. So I'm going to have to put it at C tier at least. Then we have The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now, some people are going to get mad at me for this because I really love the first three books. I think the first three books are brilliant. Then the uh, last two are kind of like, mm. um, the fourth, fourth one I personally didn't enjoy and the fifth one was okay. But I really, I mean, I have like a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy tattoo, you know? So it's like, ugh, hard, man. I'm gonna put S here. Yeah, I'm gonna put S here, what can I say? I loved it. Now, you're all gonna get some tea. This is a, the only romance on this list. This is Perfect Chemistry. It's a young adult trilogy about like romance. It's just romance. It's so stupid, but it's so good. I actually recently read, not recently, I think a couple years ago, I reread them because I read these when I was 11 years old, I think, and I, w I felt so dirty when I was reading these when I, at my age, I mean. What shall I do? I really like these. I'm gonna put it next to Cinder because I, I really like these when I read it. Charlie and Harry's Dead Until Dark. Now, I wildly loved True, Do or True Blood, True Blood, and I actually read some of the books, but the books aren't good, and I read them because I like the series, but they don't, like, they don't, there's not a linear correlation between the two, so I'm gonna put it at E tier. This is making me miserable looking at all the books that I've read and hate it. Like, what a waste of time. So, Alice in Wonderland, I included this because it's technically a series. It's a duology, I have read both and I really liked it. But it's not my favorite books, so it's gonna go in B tier, which is solid. I have a review up for it. I think it's actually my first ever book review, which is quite funny. Then we have Shiver. So Shiver, I also really liked back then but now objectively I can tell that it's not like up there you know so I'm gonna give it a D tier like I really don't hate it I don't despise it at all whatsoever then we have sh hush hush we're, we're coming to the end it's only five left guys it's only five you can do it hush hush I was actually obsessed with this series I probably my probably my opinion has changed but I'm gonna put it C tier just because I remember really liking it and if I read it now I definitely would hate it. 
but I haven't read it now, so I can't read it by that. Then we have The Demon King. Now this, this babies is a solid B tier because um, I'm seeing that it has less books and I need to fill the space. No, I'm just kidding. No. I take that back, you didn't hear it. This is a really good series. It's definitely, it feels different when you read it because it's like constructed differently, which I really appreciate it, but it's like also a uh, young adult fantasy that that has a lot of like the tropes and it definitely has some like pacing issues, uh, but I really enjoyed it, so I'll put it there. Then we have I'll Tell You I Love You But Then I Have to Kill You. This is like a spy girl love Oh, I, re I really like these books when I read them, so I'm gonna put it at D tier because I remember I really loved them But then I a couple years later I read like could try to continue the series and it was just kind of more of a simple more simple written Book and I wasn't into that kind of story then because it was more middle grade for me and I wasn't I wasn't there Okay, we have some we have some last hitters in the club. So then we have uh, The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson the Stormlight Archives that's a S tier, if you didn't already know. And then we have Hyperion, which I think is a solid, solid, really good A tier. I really love Hyperion. I think it's wildly under underestimated. I, I think people should push their way through it because I know it's a struggle sometimes. Then we have Beyonders, which is a middle grade, and I read two out of the... Mm, I'm gonna give it E tier because it's middle grade and I don't read middle grade anymore. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Um, I'm gonna look at this one last time. You can scream at me on the screen if you want me to switch something. Um, D tier. Anything I want to switch? No, I think D tier. I can like see why all these books are grouped together, you know. Uh, C tier. Hmm. C tier is actually a little bit mixed because The Shining is objectively uh, a better book than these because I can it's more like a classic and it's better written than these books uh, but of my enjoyment it's definitely C tier the blood song I feel really should be higher up on this list but is it the same enjoyment as like the Hunger Games when I read it no that's a bit hard one I'm gonna leave C tier B tier I mean like perfect chemistry <laughs> Yeah, I think Perfect Chemistry has to go down to C tier, unfortunately, because it's really, really not that well written. And then A tier, A tier, solid. I am going to, I'm going to leave A tier as it is as well. And then S tier, does that look right? Saga, Taylor's Blade, Name of the Wind. Nevernight, Lies, Look and Mourn, Love is in Wakes, Harry Potter, Dozen. Yeah, The Way of the Kings. I think that's it. I think that's how I would see it. Oh my god, I'm done. Save and download. So guys, that's it for this video. I know it was a bit of a long one, but hopefully you had fun. And comment down below on everything you disagree or agree with me on these. I am sure I will change my mind on some of these. I think D tier is a little bit like, mm. Should it really be like that? I don't know. I'm very solid on the top three tiers and the bottom tier. C and D tier is a little bit hard. I hope you guys enjoyed. This will definitely change depending on if I finish the series or if I not. That is it for this video. Have a brilliant day. Have a good quarantine. See you guys later. Bye!